A 2020 act of Congress restored federal trust ownership of Red Sleep Mountain to the Confederated Salish Kootenai tribes, giving them jurisdiction over the 18,000 acre refuge around it that houses hundreds of American bison. While tribe officials say the public won't notice much difference, this weekend's opening came with a big celebration. MTN's Geneva Zoltek takes us there. This Mother's Day weekend marks the traditional reopening of Red Sleep Drive, where folks can observe the majestic bison living on the Flathead Reservation in western Montana. But this year marks a monumental new chapter for the bison range. The Buffalo Calling Song is a kind of a, a special, a spiritual kind of song that uh, it was, a, it was a gift to the people that from the Buffalo that whenever they needed help or whenever they needed to sing that song to call it the Buffalo. Yeah. Friday morning, to commemorate the opening weekend of the Bison Range, members of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes gathered for a small ceremony. The Flathead Nation flag was raised in front of the visitor center and traditional prayer, song, and drumming ushered in the occasion. It's a significant day because the tribes now have federal trust ownership of the range. On December 27, 2020, the U.S. Congress repealed the statute creating the National Bison Range and effectively established that CSKT would once again manage the land and roaming bison. You can look at today as, as, a, as, a, as a beginning, a new beginning, a new start uh, for, for not only the Bison Range, but I would like to see this as a, as a start of understanding of why it's so important uh, to Native Americans, why it's to us, especially as a Salish, Kalispell, Kootenai people, why it's so important. It's not just having it or, or, or controlling or managing it. It's more of a, an opportunity to care. The bison herd living at the bison range descends from a herd owned by tribal members in the 1870s when Plains bison were near extinction. According to the Montana Water Rights Protection Act, the National Bison Range was established in 1908 in the middle of the Flathead Reservation. However, the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes did not consent to the removal of this land by the federal government. The 2020 Act restores this land back to the tribes. Inca Shola said his hope for visitors and the range is to understand context. So when you look at, at the bison, you look at the animals, you need to look beyond that to understand what, 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 what do we really have here. Today just marks that, that reconnection with the Buffalo Nation. And we have so much to learn from the buffalo. Um, they were an integral part of our culture for so many years, and that separation was really traumatic on our people. It's a very emotional day for the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes in officially reestablishing our footprint on the bison range. We have a really hardworking, dedicated staff that put a lot into this effort and um, we're just so thankful for today. The group Yaman Suit Drum ended the ceremony with an honor song. In Mission Valley, Geneva Zoltek, MTN News. Thank you, Geneva. For $10 per vehicle, visitors can drive the 19-mile auto tour of the Bison Range.